Hello, welcome to Ivy's Corner. We have a special guest here today. Um, you know, it's Notre Dame Football Weekend versus Purdue opening tomorrow. Um, we have Mike McCoy here. He's All-American from Notre Dame. He graduated in 1970. Um, you know, All-American, played 11, year, 11 years in the NFL. So we're so honored to have him here. And we just want to talk a little bit about your experience here at Notre Dame and why you chose to, to attend such an amazing university. Well, first of all, Ivy, thank you for having me. Thank this you. is a surprise. I'm glad to be part of this and be part of women's basketball here at Notre thank Dame. Thank you so much. Because when I came to Notre Dame, there were no women. <laughs> and I was so happy when they did that because one of my daughters came here for a while at the University of Notre Dame. And I think the reason I came to Notre Dame is when I looked at the university, when I first saw it, and really started to understand the tradition of Notre Dame and the tradition of excellence, the tradition of faith and values, the quality of the people over here, and most importantly, the quality of the education. And it was pretty much like my high school. I went to Cathedral Prep High School in Erie, Pennsylvania. So when I looked at all those, and then when I came on campus, it's not that big. Right. So it's really a close-knit family. We did not have athletic dorms, which I love, <laughs> and because uh, I got to know people from all walks of life, and I'm friends with doctors, attorneys, and politicians now, rather than just former athletes. So it was a great experience for the four years that I, that I was here at Notre Dame for me at that point in time. So I think when I looked at all those qualities, uh, that's what I was looking for. And of course, we had a guy named Eric Parsegian here. Didn't, didn't He's help. pretty special. And you got somebody yes. named Coach Muffet. I think she. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah. She's, pretty, yeah. she's pretty special. I so think so too. We understand with the coaches. And I think there's a parallel there. Yes, we actually have a freshman who's from Erie, Pennsylvania. Really? Her name's Kayla McBride. She yeah. went to Villa Marie Absolutely. Academy. Oh, yeah. So we have a little Pennsylvania connection. There so you that's, go. That's amazing. Um, what other schools were you looking at back back then? Back then it was Penn State, Syracuse, <laughs> and Indiana University. Of course, I've got hundreds of letters. And of course, you have to understand, they didn't have ESPN then, <laughs> and they didn't have all the hoopla. So I made a trip to Penn State, and Joe Paterno was an assistant then. So okay. we're talking <laughs> eons ago. That's why they call me a legend. You know, that's, that's another word for old. And uh, I like that word, legend. And so I went to Penn State, and it was just 60,000 students. I went up to Syracuse, and went out to IU, and I was a little bit overwhelmed with uh, the co-ed thing, because I went to an all-boys school, so when I saw all those pretty co-eds around, I said, how are you getting work done around <laughs> here? And, but the reality was when I met Coach Parsegan and his staff and Joey Anto, and uh, knew what Notre Dame was really all about, because when I was growing up in Erie, Pennsylvania, I didn't play football very often because I was too big. Okay. In fact, I couldn't play football, they had a weight limit, and the weight limit was 160 pounds in the Little Catholic Little Gritter League. And I was, I was 205 pounds in eighth grade. Okay. And my mother always told me, she says, don't sit on your friend's bicycles because you'll break them. <laughs> I didn't understand that. And so uh, it wasn't until my sophomore year in high school that I started to play football. And that's when I started to learn about Notre Dame. Of course, nobody in our family went to college. My sister was the first one, but I didn't, you know, didn't phase me that much. And my high school football coach, Tony Zembrowski, went here. And he played for Frank Leahy. Okay. And we're talking about a lot of tradition here. And yes. he started to say, where do you want to go to college? I said, college. I said, what's that? <laughs> and because uh, I grew up with my grandparents, you know, alcoholic dad and all that good stuff, and and the east side of Erie, Pennsylvania. So when that opportunity came, when I finally realized what that opportunity was going to be like, you know, I jumped at it. Matter of fact, I think it was the first freshman to sign that year. Oh, well, that's so awesome! And that's exactly the, you know the type of experience that we loved for our recruits to hear about. I mean, you just basically explaining that experience. And Absolutely. We're so happy to have you back. And I think that one thing about Notre Dame is this alum that they come back, they give back, and you're just a testament to that. And we really appreciate you just taking the time to speak with me and, you know, to represent Notre Dame the way that you do. And I'm very proud just to say that I had a chance to meet you today. So well, I it's good to, good to meet you. And I remember those national championship years and Kelly Seaman and all those great players. And uh, that's something that will be with you the rest of your life. And so I think if any of the recruits are thinking of other schools, please don't think of other schools because <laughs> Notre Dame is it. They have a brand new facility here. I've never seen such a fine facility in the basketball facility now, and uh, you have a great experience here. Thank you, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, Amy. Congratulations. Thank you. This is the end, and uh, go Irish.